break it down all relationships are transactional but it doesn't end there what does a transaction entail and ultimately what people miss is the fact that consumption is the ultimate goal but one would say well what happens after consumption so you have this transactional exchange in a relationship that seems to be the way all relationships work in fact you prepare yourself for it right the bride prepares herself And the groom is heavily encouraged to consume the bride, <laughs> or the antithetical occurs. The, the son consumes the father, the, the, the age old um, gods through antiquity, eating children, offspring. So whether or not you realize it, when you sacrifice somebody, when they have deviated off a path, and it's like, oh, dad just deviated off the path. He, he stopped, you know, training or he stopped competing. Um, so he could raise us and go work a job. And it's kind of like, do you realize that you ruined your father's life or your mother's life or your, do you realize that? Do you realize what you owe back? And so, the saving grace is responsibility. The ability to respond. And once you go into the latter stages of responsibility, once you just enter into responsibility in general, you are entering into something that very few people do enter into. <clears throat> um, and that's what the military in the past, at least when I was coming up, was touted to do for people, right? But it teaches you an existential aspect of responsibility, how to be a good mason, how to support the infrastructure of samsara. But true responsibility is the release of samsara. It's seeing that our relationship isn't transactional. I don't wish to consume you. What do we have now? And that is when freedom and true liberation come into play. The sovereign citizen, as it were. And the sovereign citizen is the most dangerous to um, society because everyone is staring at everyone else. Everyone is a policing watchdog agency on everyone else. They are trained to do that. This is a world of demons. Somebody said today in a ride, they said, life is hard. And I said, no, life is easy. Think about you and how you feel in the morning. It's the people that make it hard. It's the people that make it hard. They want you to think that this concrete um, Masonic jungle, as I've called it for years, is in fact reality, but it's not. It's actually these walls keep reality back, keep, keep reality from coming into full.